Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a really hefty show today. Abraham, the guides, now that you know, um, wants to talk about a lot of things. So we're going to be talking about my past life in Lemuria brought forward from channeling Abraham. Um, if you haven't yet watched my last video, go ahead and watch the video called Introduction to Energy Oneness. I'm going to put that link below because you want to get caught up on that if you really want to know and understand who Abraham is. So in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about my past life in Lemuria. We're also going to be talking about history of Lemuria and Atlantis from that past life perspective that I had. We're also going to be talking about Hawaii's connection to Lemuria, along with my very own very deep connection to Hawaii and Lemuria. And more importantly, we're going to be talking about unlocking lost knowledge that many of you hold within and how to do that. Abraham talked a little bit about lost knowledge that you hold within in the last video. So again, watch that video first if you want a little bit more understanding. Um, and so with this lost knowledge, Abraham's going to be talking about the connection between heart, mind, blood, cellular structure, and DNA in holding that lost knowledge within you. So months ago, when I was in meditation and channeling information, I received knowledge that I would be receiving knowledge about ancient Lemuria and Atlantis. And I remember it being a very detailed channeling and I was told that I held a key or more like um, I was shown like a switchboard and that there are many lights that need to be turned on on that switchboard and I held one of the keys to turn on one of those lights. But at the same time, there were other lights on that switchboard and those lights belonged to other people who had keys that would switch on those lights. And I was shown that it was about information. So we each hold information and when put together we can light up the switchboard. And I was shown that the lights on the switchboard were turning on, they were switching on, meaning that people were starting to unlock the knowledge within themselves that was like the key to turn on their light on the switchboard. So in today's video Abraham wanted to bring forward information about this inner knowledge that we all hold, which they refer to as lost knowledge. And the people who hold this lost knowledge, they refer to as the lost knowledge holders. And this is knowledge that we all have from our collection of past lives, basically. At this moment, lost knowledge that we each hold from lifetimes especially in Lemuria and Atlantis are particularly important and valuable because we as a civilization and collective on earth ascending and moving from 3D into 5D are in a way mimicking similar type energy that occurred during the rise and fall of civilizations of Lemuria and Atlantis. These were highly evolved civilizations, both spiritually and technologically, existing thousands of years ago. And having them as a reference helps to bring things into perspective for us as we are ascending. So for a quick background, Lemuria was a highly spiritually evolved civilization with advanced heart. They focused on love and oneness. Atlantis was a highly technologically evolved civilization with advanced mind. We each hold our own specific lost knowledge. I bring forward lost knowledge from my perspective. So the life that I lived, that's my knowledge. So I might not necessarily have any information about Atlantis from the perspective of living there. Of course, I assume that there's historical knowledge about the rise and fall of both Atlantis and Lemuria along with other civilizations or ancient civilizations um, along with anything else in the universe located in the Akashic Records that really anyone can access if you can tap into it. But having that individual perspective from the person who lived that life is what makes it different and unique and a special piece that only you hold within your soul. That is the key. And because I need things broken down, 
they've broken it down into, um, I'm kind of liking it to like a bedtime children's story. <laughs> so keep that in mind throughout this whole thing. It's like they put things in a very basic way that I can understand without getting too stuck on all the details. So this is a very long channel transmission. I usually put the text on the screen. I'm not going to be doing that for this one because it's honestly almost 10 pages long. It might be helpful for you to put the closed captions on if you want to read along. I have them available in both English and Spanish. Also, um, one thing to note, Abraham has said that this video and channel transmission acts as a gilded knowledge keeper, as an open portal to unlocking inner lost knowledge in the hearts of those who have had lifetime or lifetimes in Lemuria and or Atlantis. So basically, by listening to this transmission, you are integrating a portal of energy that can help you to unlock your inner lost knowledge that you hold if you choose to take advantage of that portal of energy. So let's go ahead and begin the transmission. Abraham starts by saying, Millions of years ago, there was knowledge about a gilded island mass in the ocean now known as the Pacific, but knowing not where on the map in those times, efficiently named Lemuria. Lemuria included an open portal of energy, really strong energy, known as heart-inkling energy of love and oneness. Lemuria jovially stood knowing that it was a very protective, leaded landmass, not only by Source Creator, but by Gaia Earth herself. Gaia Earth built a gilded portal of energy around Lemuria to somewhat protect it from intruders, but it was not gilded enough. What ended up happening was that not-so-nice people came to the island and took the land and knowledge illusion of love and oneness and knowing that all is truly well, and insulted the land and people that existed there. You, Jessica, were one of the people who existed there in Lemuria on simple island of heart-based landmass. People were killed, not given chance to survive or find safety after they were removed from homes. Knowledge of love and oneness were thrown away in a very loveless junk drawer, and the invaders took over the land of Lemuria. The only knowledge of Lemuria left was what only few survivors carried with them in their hearts and minds. The invaders stopped millions of people from cementing knowledge of Lemuria in minds and hearts. Invaders to Lemuria were the only other race on the planet at the time. They were from Atlantis, what is now known as the Antarctic region on your current 3D planet. After invasion, the energy of knowledge of love and oneness was joined by lower frequency illusion of knowledge of hate, manipulation, and lust for wealth of knowledge on earth. Atlanteans were very much greedy and tried mostly to, quote, take over, end quote, the whole planet earth. In knowing about simple, loving island mass in Lemuria, they made the intense journey to Lemuria in hopes of breaking over and making illusion of open energy portal between Atlanteans and illusion of energy from portal in Lemuria. So basically they wanted to create a portal that connected Atlantis energy to Lemuria energy. So it was about like the taking of the Lemurian energy. They go on to say open portal of Lemurian energy was turned off by Gaia Earth kept only in lost knowledge of hearts of Lemurians who survived. Jessica was one of the survivors. Heart-based knowledge on linear timeline of Lemuria is held in Jessica's current awareness, not in conscious mind, but unconscious mind. Linear timeline of Lemuria is in Jessica's not-so-distant past. We, Abraham, were in the Lemuria timeline with Jessica. We efficiently helped to give her, quote, knowledge holder frequency, end quote, meaning she would have the illusion of being a knowledge holder in her current life as Jessica. Hindering Jessica's ability to retrieve this lost knowledge of Lemuria is fear of being judged by others. She must get over her fear in order to retrieve the lost knowledge of Lemuria. Her fear is definitely connected to her life in Lemuria because Jessica was judged for the knowledge, 
She was judged for this jolly knowledge of Lemuria in surviving. Knowing about the invasion beforehand, I asked about how I would have this knowing of the invasion beforehand, and they said it was because of my connection to the spirit realm and mostly Abraham who were there helping me and giving me information in that lifetime as well. And so they said, knowing about invasion beforehand, she, me, Jessica, found safety in the island off the shore of Lemuria, now known as Hawaii. Lost knowledge of Lemuria in Jessica's awareness, definitely, but fear is in her awareness too. Heart knowledge opening soon. Knowledge about Hawaii and Lemuria rising soon. On radar in knowledge is oneness and love for the land, people, very much people, whole universe, elements of nature, knowing Earth, Gaia is mother, and illusion of jovial, definitely jovial illusion of fun. There are some hindrances still, but we are working on it. Knowledge about love and oneness were judged by the people of Atlantis because they did not understand the gilded knowledge of opening minds to the knowledge of oneness and love. They, Atlantis, were a civilization based on mind advancement, technology, and duality consciousness. Lemuria was a civilization based on open-minded oneness, spirituality, definitely love, heart-based energy, and reaching higher states of consciousness in 3D. Lemurians were open to others' thoughts. They were mindful and a more so peaceful civilization. Population was lost in invasion. Only a few survivors, Jessica being one of them efficiently making her a lost knowledge holder of ancient Lemuria that existed millions of years ago in the Pacific Ocean. Retrieving lost open knowledge is retrieved through the heart, not the mind. Many of you hold pieces of lost knowledge in your hearts, but are not yet ready to retrieve it due to fear or a closed heart. Lost knowledge is important during the ascension into New Earth 5D because knowledge holds the integration of gilded information that can help humanity retrieve their own lost knowledge inside their hearts. So this is saying that lost knowledge is important, like bringing forward lost knowledge that you hold because it helps others to retrieve their own lost knowledge. So that's part of the awakening process. They go on to say, heart-based knowledge opens a portal of energy in the minds of the conscious collective, which enables people to ascend much more quickly after integrating lost knowledge of inner knowing. Teams holding knowledge together form families, and once members of families knowing of lost knowledge comes to the surface, members of the family receive lost new earth knowledge keys to front door. So basically, I had the vision that in families, you hold lost knowledge together. So you each serve in helping each other to bring up that lost knowledge. And it's highly unlikely that every member in your family is going to awaken and bring forward that lost knowledge. But all it takes is one member. This is what Abraham brought forward, that if one member can awaken and bring forward the lost knowledge that the family holds, okay, because the families usually incarnate together often, so the lost knowledge is like um, this whole unit together within the family solidified through the unity of love but, it, but also cell structure, DNA, and blood. So if you can bring forward the lost knowledge that you and your family hold, then you're basically kind of doing the work for your family and they get a free ascension pass into New Earth. Congratulations. Uh, and that is being confirmed by Abraham. So because by you doing, doing the work and getting to the point of retrieving lost knowledge, you are highly affecting every member in your family on an energetic level. Because again, you're connected through blood, DNA, um, cells, love, you know, you're connected through the soul. 
So this whole topic of your immediate families being these teams of lost knowledge holders on the planet is a bit of a lengthy topic and I can already, you know, hear people wanting to know more about this. So I'm going to be creating a whole separate video dedicated to this topic very soon. So look out for that. We're going to go further into cell structure, blood, DNA, all of that in just a bit. So stay with me on this. They go on to say, knowledge holders are heart-based in the reality of New Earth 5D. This basically means that when you get to a point where you can bring forward the lost knowledge that you hold within you or begin to bring forward, you're already naturally at a heart-based place in your life because we'll go more into this in a little bit, but basically you cannot unlock lost knowledge with a closed mind and a closed heart. You have to get to a place where you can have an open heart, open enough in which you can vibrate at a love frequency and a higher frequency and possibly a oneness frequency. Abraham goes on to say that it is time when Jessica's knowledge comes to the surface to be shared with others. Her lost knowledge contains information about how to exist on New Earth 5D based upon her experiences on Hawaii Island off the coast of Lemuria. In her experiences, love and oneness after tragedy exist, defining New Earth oneness and love after tragedy. They gloss over this for a reason, but I was shown tragedy in the midst of this whole 5D Earth split. Like, you, you know there's going to be lots of Earth changes, um, but being able to hold a space of oneness and love will be most important in overcoming whatever tragedies are upcoming. They continue to say that Jessica has gilded knowledge of love and oneness. Jessica's knowledge of love and oneness after tragedy, not only from life on Lemuria, but in former past of her current life as Jessica. Oneness and love be with her always. It is not easy to achieve for someone in pain and heartbreak, nor easy for someone to achieve in joy and happiness. Open your minds to finally knowing that open hearts and lost knowledge will begin to arise for you too. Everyone holds many different types of lost knowledge in their hearts after going through many kinds of past lives, whether on planet Earth or not. Soon, more knowledge from many other planets will begin lost knowledge recollection, and it is already happening. Open your whole heart. Lost knowledge is inside them. Then they say, let's continue the story. So again, we left off with Lemuria being invaded by Atlanteans and the survivors, myself included, seeking refuge on an island mass currently known as Hawaii, which is off the coast of Lemuria. They said, faced with duality and gilded goonies from Atlantis, some Lemurians were knowing the after effects of not, definitely not Lemuria as finely as it once was. Hindered Lemurians stood on joining hearts in Pacific Island, now known as Hawaii. Hindered Lemurians, holding love and oneness knowledge, started a new community on the island of current Hawaii. Knowledge very much stayed with them for thousands of years. Lemurians lived for thousands of years in ancient Lemuria, an island in Pacific Ocean. Lemurians' lifespan was thousands of years. Lemuria nosedived into New Lemuria, the one that you now know in historical texts today, existing thousands of years ago, not millions of years ago. Lemurians mended life on New Lemuria, opened knowledge about oneness and love, and rebuilt island of Hawaii into New Lemuria, off the old Lemurian coast, in knowing the Atlanteans did not mostly know that they, the Lemurians, still held in their hearts Lemuria knowledge about love and oneness. In Lemurian, or more so new Lemurian temples, were made out of crystal in liking to definitely old Lemurian temples. After rebuilding Lemuria on island of now Hawaii, people of Lemuria held knowledge about love and oneness passed down onto them from the Lemurian survivors, the ancestors of new Lemurian people. Not passed down was not so nice knowledge about the invasion of old Lemuria by Atlanteans. 
knowledge of the invasion was taken out of the minds of new Lemurians for sake of joining hearts in love and oneness, not duality, illusion of fear, or hate in the hearts of Lemurians. Invading Atlanteans knowingly lived in old Lemuria on main island landmass next to Hawaii. They had a knowing about horrible Lemuria invasion, knowing they were not good to Lemuria or the people of Lemuria. Atlanteans existed on the bigger landmass of Atlantis as well, located on the current placement of Antarctica in your planet's joining efficient ocean. Look out for the rise of knowledge of Atlantis as well. Open knowledge about joining sea on the planet gave Atlanteans higher knowing, for they were able to somehow locate Lemuria on the planet millions of years ago. Atlanteans were not more joined in heart, they were more joined in mind. So Atlanteans took to the sea and invaded Lemuria. People of Lemuria mostly perished immediately. Few took to the illusion of disappearing by seeking safety in nearby island, currently known as Hawaii, not to be found until many years later, very much later. So this is them just recalling the invasion of Lemuria that we talked about in the beginning of the story that happened millions of years ago. They go on to say, High knowledge about final invasion pinpointed to fine, very fine, lost knowledge held in minds of Lemurian people who survived, meaning that the knowledge about the invasion were only held in the minds of the Lemurian people who survived the invasion, which were not very many. The knowledge about the invasion was not shared because it held hindrance for Lemurian people, so they kept it a secret and kept knowledge about the invasion mostly to themselves. After the invasion, Lemuria became home to those who invaded the bigger landmass of Lemuria. They were not Atlanteans anymore, but they became Lemurians real quick because of the love and oneness frequency and knowledge held in the land of Lemuria. Really strong energy of love and oneness in the land of Lemuria. Oneness energy in the invaders became too strong for many of them to handle. So many of them left to go back to Atlantis. In leaving, a few stayed behind because they found peace in the love and oneness energy of Lemuria. Very many left, not many stayed. Knowledge about Hawaii Island off the coast of Lemuria's main landmass opened curiosity in remaining Atlanteans on Lemuria, and they traveled to picturesque island more in peace, not knowing that there were still Lemurians still existing on the island of Hawaii off the coast of Lemuria's larger landmass. They made land on shore of Hawaii Island and were greeted by the Lemurian people in good island faith and peace. But after making the journey, the love frequency in lost Atlantean travelers faded and they feared judgment by people of Lemuria, knowing Lemurians were killed by their Atlantean people. Not very sure what to do, they were not Atlanteans, but not yet Lemurian people. They began knowledge integration of love and oneness, and in their adaptation of Lemurian knowledge of love and oneness came integration of inner Lemurian hearts for people who had once invaded Lemuria pointedly a few many years before. Gimmick of illusion of love and fisted glory were gone and replaced with knowledge of reality of love and oneness in the hearts of the new Lemurian people, formerly Atlantean people and invaders. More pinpointed or tiny illusion or belief of love and faith in source hindered their hearts, meaning the Atlanteans. But now a more open, gilded reality of love and faith realized by new Lemurians sang open, more open in their hearts. Gilded glory of source love was now cemented in their hearts after being not so nice to the Lemurian people in the invasion. Not in their hearts anymore was fear, enemy thoughts, and hate for Lemuria, and gilded hearts of love and oneness took over. Very many thousands of years later opened a portal, a very strong portal of energy in galactic Gilliford Island open water known as Hawaii. 
not Lemuria. Hawaii was the final resting place for knowledge of love and oneness of Lemuria people. It was home for Hawaii Lemuria people after losing their home in Lemuria bigger landmass during the invasion by Atlanteans thousands of years prior, or millions of years, I guess. The opening of the very strong portal brought the illusion of Atlantis, not only illusion, but reality, and brought with it the thoughts that definitely Atlanteans would be able to invade again. Lemuria on Hawaii rallied together for protection after this energy portal opened in the Pacific Ocean. But the portal of energy allowed Lemurians the ability to find out where Atlantis was in the open waters of the planet. The Lemurians were now able to see where Atlantis was due to the portal that opened. The energy portal allowed people of Lemuria to definitely keep safe. They were able to keep watch, finally ease in sleep. Open waters were not easy to navigate, so they were very much safe on the island of Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Illusion of seclusion not only definitely helped them in lost knowledge keeping, but helped lost knowledge be preserved in the land of Hawaii currently. Open knowledge is available in the land of Hawaii. Miniature knowledge is held knowingly in the hearts of people native to the land. Jessica's knowing comes from the entire lineage of native Hawaiian people affecting her to this day. Lost knowledge of Lemuria is in the blood, the cellular structure and DNA of native Hawaiians, including Jessica. Lost knowledge is in the blood, cellular structure and DNA of many other races on the planet as well. Gilded knowledge on the planet efficiently melds with the DNA and blood and cells of certain races on the planet depending on the origin of the race in Earth's history. Not so common is opening this lost knowledge within you. Ability to open lost knowledge means opening hearts and minds to receiving the lost knowledge. For the ability to spread the lost knowledge to others in attempt to wake others up to the lost knowledge that that they hold within them. Gilded lost knowledge within most of you on the planet. Lost knowledge is stored in final knowing, for lost knowledge opens in knowingness of a person. For example, when you just know that the sky is blue or that you love your cat, gilded knowledge is not forced knowledge. Knowledge is in the heart and runs through your entire being. Much like the knowledge in this transmission, Jessica's knowledge is not forced. She resonates with it and not even Jessica fully understands, but she resonates with it on a final knowing level. Her central knowing is the open portal of energy between her and us, Abraham. It allows her to be completely open to receiving information from us. Her fear of judgment is on a cellular level. Open knowledge has a downfall. It opens lost knowledge of tragedy, death, fear, and loss as well. Not always new and shiny, but sometimes lost knowledge can be old and dirty. Jessica has worked out most of her stuff in order to receive knowledge and not be affected in a negative way. After she is able to work out her fear of judgment, she will unlock Jessica's lost knowledge of Lemuria. Not fear nor love can hinder you from knowing your truth. Pretty soon, opening hearts will finally join together in opening a door to New Earth 5D. In your cellular makeup, blood, and DNA, you hold gilded knowledge about lost knowledge. Opening your heart opens knowledge to flow to you. When you have inner knowing from your soul, your blood turns into lost knowledge holder. It serves as an inner train system for lost knowledge to reach all areas of your body. After lost knowledge is carried through the blood to every part of your body, the opening of lost knowledge can happen. Joining blood is cellular structures roaming the body. In cells, gilded lost knowledge opens a high 
lost knowledge door, and that allows the DNA to be affected. Lost knowledge unlocks dormant DNA in the body and soon starts to activate DNA that was not active before. Joined in DNA is tenacious heart and mind. These are the final obstacles the person needs to overcome the physical challenges of retrieving lost knowledge in knowing awareness. Finally, there is still fear integrated in lost knowledge, so the person has to be able to release fear. And then, finally, opening of lost knowledge is achieved in the conscious aware mind. Knowing how to unlock lost knowledge is lost knowledge. Jessica, bringing this forward certainly for you to not lose your lost knowledge. Final steps are the hardest. First few steps happen naturally as you integrate new lost knowledge from others that you resonate with in your knowing mind and beingness. Sole responsibility in unlocking lost knowledge inside of you is yours. Ability to unlock lost knowledge is in everyone. Final steps on knowing truth are losing emotional attachments and opening your mind so that you can finally not only see the leaves on the trees, but the wood beneath, and the animals, and the filaments on the trees, and moss on the floor, and all the bugs in the air. Jessica's ability to sense the wood beneath the trees does not mean she is higher off the ground. It means that she can open her mind enough to bring her awareness to a higher perspective and not to be hindered from being open-minded, meaning knowing too much information and not enough love. Resistance in mind loses final openness in spirit. Jessica's lost knowledge is just one key of many keys opening the door to New Earth 5D. Gilded lost knowledge is not very able to integrate into people's minds on your planet. Definitely not easy. Some people think you're going nuts. Others want peanuts. They're on the edge of their seats. Elements of lost knowledge in Jessica's awareness is part of her very past life as a Lemurian, not an invader. So she does not have lost knowledge from the point of view of the invader only from her perspective. Side note, I'm sure that there were, you know, other Lemurian groups existing on the larger landmass of Lemuria who scattered as well, and maybe, you know, big things were probably happening there, but I don't have that knowledge because that wasn't my experience. So one of you listening might have that knowledge. This is why it's important for all of us to retrieve this knowledge so that we can put the puzzle pieces together. So moving on, Abraham says, Lost knowledge is in all of you, but you have to be able to tap into it. Open mind, open heart. Open love and heart now, and gilded knowledge will flow into your awareness from the perspective that you hold inside of your lost knowledge library. Not in your mind, it's located in your heart. Cannot be accessed if the heart is closed. More love and heart opens the heart to unlock the lost knowledge inside of your heart. Heart in love definitely opens mind in love. Guilford Island in heart opens heart to receiving love and oneness. Heart begins to open and love flows forward, unleashing lost knowledge that you have held so deeply within your heart. Moments in love opens heart, receives finally love needed to open mind. Knowing love in heart and mind means opening knowledge lost over millions of years ago. Ends up bringing lots of information forward that helps new earth ascension pinpoint Earth 5D and Galaxy. Knowing this will help many of you open your hearts and minds to receiving the lost knowledge key that you hold within you. Door Knowledge Keeper has many locks. You have one key that will fit one lock. The front door to New Earth 5D is almost fully open, made not of keys but locks. In getting lost knowledge, a lock opens right where you stand. Lost knowledge is not the key. You are. Knowledge opener is you. Most people have a fear of being judged by others. 
Stop the feeling of fear because it only stops you from reaching your full potential. It does not protect you from censorship of voice and mind. Now, let's continue with the story. Very many people of Lemuria were enigmatic at energy portal that opened up in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, known currently as Hawaii. They found peace knowing that they were very much safe, not simply lost to knowing Atlantean antics. Real soon after the portal was open, Lemurians saw that Atlanteans were manipulating one another in technological experiments on projects that were not approved by source. Open experimentation on people, animals, and gilded land of Atlantis not well in the eyes of source. Most people of Atlantis were not affected, but gilded manipulation on soil of Atlantis was far too strong. Knowledge about manipulation of land and animals integrated into people's awareness and fear broke out, stomping manipulation experiments. But the damage was done and Source did not approve of what had happened on soil of Atlantis. Joining animals with people and enslaving half-human, half-animals to sound experiments and insisting people fight animals knowing full well the animals did not want to fight and insisting people lose love and oneness with animals, with others and with the land of Atlantis. Not good. They may have been technologically advanced in mind, but very slow in heart, in love and oneness. People on Atlantis joined in on mimicking others and animals and did not receive love in their hearts. Ability to sense wood beneath the trees was gone, and no trees were left. Jessica and other Lemurians witnessed Atlantis falling through the open portal of energy. That knowing sacrificed the gilded oneness and love knowledge that Lemuria had. Lost knowledge in Jessica's heart of invasion of Lemuria many years ago gave fear in knowledge, immediately opening a portal of energy of fear in cemented Lemuria and Atlantis hearts. So I want to make a note here that at the beginning of the story, I had that past life um, with that invasion of Lemuria millions of years ago. What Abraham is talking about right now is Lemuria thousands of years ago. So I had asked, you know, how... Was I still alive? Um, and they had brought forward that it was because I had reincarnated into Lemuria again. But through that reincarnation, I still held that lost Lemurian knowledge. And what they're saying basically is that through witnessing the fear in Atlantis, that brought forward that past life fear of the invasion from Atlanteans um, up into the current Lemurian life. And they go on to say, Knowledge was tainted, and gilded oneness and love knowledge lost on land of Lemuria only. Jessica and many other survivors of Lemurian invasion not only lost the love and oneness knowledge, but integrated fear into the minds and hearts of people in Lemuria. Not fault of Jessica and others, but fault of Atlantis. Loss of love and oneness frequency, not the fault of loss of love and oneness, but due to the ability to sense fear in hearts and minds. Integrating fear and open hurt in hearts and minds opened a portal of intense Atlantean energy in the Pacific Ocean. It integrated energy of Atlantis into the energy of Lemuria. Love and oneness energy portal was gone, and not portal of fear, but portal of Atlantis opened in the Lemurian island of Hawaii. It projected energy of Atlantis and acted as intense reality for the Lemurians. On gilded moon and gilded sun came knowledge about home planet changing and shifting upon sensing the turmoil on the surface. Protected Lemurians fled to a separate island mass on the main Lemuria landmass and sought shelter not on the surface of Earth, but below Earth, inside a mountain today called Mount Shasta. Inside were open caverns, lush forests, and natural water, and healing resources were available in abundance. But people who fled there could only stay 
if they were able to let go of lost knowledge of hate and fear and purgatory in shifting earth experience. Very many were able to let go of lost knowledge of lower frequency and negative intense emotions, but some were not able to let go. Some still held hate and fear in their hearts and minds of Atlantis and invasion, still affected by invasion millions of years ago. Elements of hate were not able to enter underground in Mount Shasta, so these people, Jessica included, were actually in gilded paradise of Lemuria when central flooding opened. They lost their lives in the heart of Lemuria in the intense takeover by the Pacific Ocean. Jessica, or not Jessica now, but Jessica in the life of Lemuria, was in heartbreak over not letting fear and hate go. So she took lost knowledge of oneness and love and tucked it away so far into her heart, opening it only now after only 20,000 long gilded years. She is finally opening lost knowledge of Lemuria and finally opening Jessica's mostly open heart and gaining access to lost knowledge again. Knowledge about Lemuria is immensely important because it has information needed for ascension. It made Jessica open her heart enough so that she could share. Knowledge hindered her for a long time, but it is finally time to come out. Love and oneness be with everyone, but you have to be able not only to tap into it, but to open your heart enough to allow your lost knowledge to flood out, sending love and oneness everywhere you go. We share this knowledge with you today, not as a reminder of the fear and destruction of Lemuria and Atlantis, but gone are those ancient civilizations, and in their wake is a new illusion of a new gilded civilization on the 5D New Earth planet. Defining Lemuria and Atlantis is important to your ascension because they are centered around inner ascension on transitioning between 3D illusion of Earth and 5D illusion of New Earth. In their existences on Earth, they entered into New Earth 5D many times. 5D New Earth existed at that particular time because New Earth 5D was not separate from 3D Earth, much like it exists now on Earth. Ability to shift into love and oneness energy and frequency is in each of you. Firmly planted in not so many of your hearts is knowledge of the opening of love and oneness energy on inner hearts and outer realities. Join together gives people ability to find love and oneness in their hearts finally. Opening hearts means opening minds to others' opinions and higher knowledge of your inner knowing. Not all the answers will come from outside of you, but most answers will come from inside of your heart. Jessica is not looking for information outside of herself. Connecting to us is connecting to her highest level of her highest inner self. After you learn how to open your heart and mind, ace knowledge from within you can flow more easily to you from your guidance teams and higher self. It may not necessarily look like the illusion of your higher self or your guides, but you will feel more clarity and knowingness and joining with greater mind of your higher self, and that is oneness and love flowing through you. In oneness we are Abraham. Oneness and love be with you. So the bigger picture of what was brought forward in this transmission is that so many people on the planet hold lost knowledge that needs to begin coming forward and will begin coming forward and is coming forward. Keep in mind that 5D New Earth is already here, especially in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So you can already begin shifting your energy to be existing in 5D New Earth. But there's still so much more that still needs to happen, especially in regards to physically manifesting the new earth 5D. So for example, many old 3D institutions will have to be rebuilt or reconstructed in order to release that 3D lower frequency energy and hold or be built with more of a higher 5D frequency energy. So this means, you know, institutions like finance, government, healthcare and healing techniques, education, technology, science, etc. These all need revamping, so to speak. 
So lots of inner lost knowledge that people hold around the planet will be the knowledge and experiences and even specific details of the past from Lemuria and Atlantis that can come and be brought forward and integrate with knowledge from others in order to manifest this brand new information that will help to create, build, and bring together a whole new construct of society and way of living and thriving in New Earth 5D. And because this topic is so extensive, I'm going to be bringing forward more information and more videos surrounding this whole lost knowledge thing. I know that Abraham has a lot to talk about in regards to retrieving lost knowledge, so um, we'll be bringing it forward in the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.